Hey guys, X Factor here. Hopefully, you're having a great day. And that is Steel Vengeance, a record breaking hybrid coaster at Cedar Point doing the premiere. We're going up 205 feet, we're dropping down at more than 90 degrees, 74 miles an hour, four inversions, and I heard. This ride has more airtime than any other ride in the world with 27.2 seconds. Most of you guys know I'm a coaster nut, and this may be the new favorite. Let's find out. That's the best right here. That's the best right here. Front car is different from the middle, which is different from the back. In the back, you don't see what's coming. It just whips you around. Welcome back, riders. How was that ride? Oh. Okay, where do I begin? We've ridden this thing about 10 times. We rode the front, the middle, the back. And this is by far the most intense ride I've ever gone on. It has aspects of Millennium Force. It has aspects of the Maverick. You lose track of where you are and what you're doing because it is so fast. It changes direction so quickly. It's got 27 seconds of air time, which is the most in the world. You definitely feel that. You're never not out of your seat. And honestly, it's my new favorite ride. At Cedar Point, it goes Steel Vengeance, it goes Millennium, it goes Maverick, then it goes Tot Thrill. That's how intense this ride is. So, uh, what'd you think, Mrs. X? Awesome. How intense is the ride? Pretty intense. Like my leg was shaking <laughs> after the first time. I mean, we rode it. We rode it a lot, and I still don't have it down. Usually, after you ride a ride 10 or 15 times, you know exactly what's going to happen and when. But the the ride is so fast that you just lose track of what's going on outside the first couple of drops. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the footage of Steel Vengeance, including our POV. It's extremely intense, but if you ever find yourself in Ohio on the shores of Lake Erie near Sandusky, which is west of Cleveland, please check out Cedar Point. Tons of roller coasters, most of which used to break records at their time, including this one, Top Thrill Dragster, 400 plus feet, 120 plus miles an hour. But if you're more about the airtime and sick drops, there's things like Money and Force, another one of my favorites. Drops and speed for days. But if you don't have the courage, won't be in the area, or don't live in this neck of the woods, download Planet Coaster or maybe start it up, and you can actually drop these rides in, including Steel Vengeance. Do a ride along, including a POV. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. This begs the question, would you dare ride it? We'll see you guys soon. <laughs>